हेलो स्टूडेंट माई सेल्फ प्रोफेसर गाड़ा केसेस फ्रॉम एस एन डी कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड रिसर्च सेंटर एवला स्टूडेंट वी आर लर्निंग द फाइनल इयर सब्जेक्ट दैट इज नथिंग बट द सोलर एंड वाइंड एनर्जी फ्रॉम दैट सब्जेक्ट वी हैव लर्न सम टॉपिक्स फ्रॉम यूनिट नंबर वन टू यूनिट नंबर फोर एंड वी नो दैट ऑल टॉपिक्स आर रिलेटेड टू द सोलर एनर्जी नाउ we have started the unit number 5 that is related to the wind energy from unit number 5 we have seen some of the points that points are nothing but basics of wind energy we have seen how does wind milk will work that we also we have seen then principle of wind energy conversion we have seen basic components of wind energy conversion system we have seen types of wind mill types of wind energy we have seen then site selection consideration for wind power plant that also we have seen now in the today's lecture we are going to see some of the important points that are application of that wind mill then advantages and disadvantages of wind mill and wind energy potential and installation in the india that points we are going to see in the today's lecture so let's see one by one so wind mill firstly So what is the wind mill that we have seen so in short wind mill about the wind mill we can say that a wind mill refers to a structure we use for harnessing the wind power that means what we are using the wind mill to extract the power from wind energy and convert it into the mechanical energy or electrical power then we make then we make use of this power for various purposes that means the extracted wind energy can be utilized for the various purposes including industrial as well as household uses that means that energy can be used for industrial purpose also or household use also the sailors first harnessed his power of wind he understood lift and harnessed the wind power through the sails similarly it led to the discovery of first ever vertical axis sail type wind mill that means the sailor has discovered first wind mill and he also have discovered vertical axis type of wind mill also the earlier ones comprised vanes which were referred to as a sails or blades after that when the wind promoted then the turns they converted the same energy into the rotational energy it means same energy will converted into the rotational energy so that's are nothing but about wind mill so let's see some applications of that wind mill that means where that wind energy is used so let's see it is very clear that now the wind mill carries huge important because as we know that wind mill is a wind mill is not going to end that means wind energy is not going to end due to that and other energy sources are going to end also and that are making the pollution also to environment so to avoid that we are using the wind energy in the tremendous application in the nowadays it is used for the quite number of purposes some of the common applications of wind mills are as below that means some of the common applications are given in the below so let's see which are the applications that are the day to day applications so let's see pumping water pumping water means what the electrical motor so or electrical pump is there so to drive the pump we are using the electrical energy but that energy is generated by the wind mill then sawmill of the timbers then milling grains also for milling grains means there is also use of the electrical motor and grinder for driving that electrical motor we are using the wind mill then drainage pumping oil extraction from the seeds then machining purposes also different machining purposes we are using the wind energy that means what the electrical energy generated from the wind next important application is nothing but the processing of commodities like 
so which commodities for processing of the which commodities we are using the wind mill or wind energy that we are going to see so first commodity is nothing but the tobacco then coca cola then dyes species paints then stock waterings so that's are some applications where we can use the wind energy that means the electricity or mechanical work generated due to the mechanical ill wind energy all of you understand then next point we are going to see that is the thing with the advantages of the wind energy so let's see what are the some advantages of wind energy first one free fuel that means the input energy for the wind mill is nothing but the wind energy and that is totally free we don't have to pay single rupee for that input energy that's why it is a free fuel second advantage is one of the cleanest form of the energy that means wind energy does not make any pollution while generating the electricity or mechanical power that's why it is one of the cleanest form of the energy third advantage is that advanced in technology that means what that technologies advances day by day that means new technologies are coming into the world day by day for the extracting more power from wind energy to convert it into the mechanical power or electrical power fourth disadvantage is that doesn't disturb farmland operation that means due to that wind mill it does not disturb the any farmland operations that means it is not harmful to the farmland fifth advantage is that reduces our dependence on the fossil fuel that means for for the thermal power plant or for any another power plant for the electricity generation we are using the fossil fuel for the for the input fuel but here in the wind energy input fuel is a totally free that means that reduces our dependence on the fossil fuel so that's are some advantages of the wind energy though there are some advantages of the wind energy or wind mill there are some limitations or disadvantages are also there for the wind energy so let's see which are the disadvantages although wind energy is a renewable greener option for energy it still has its advan disadvantages and limitation so four disadvantages are shown here so first disadvantage is that dangerous to some wildlife that means it is dangerous for some wildlife so the death of the birds and bats are the controversial subject at the wine farm sites which has raised concern by the fish and the wildlife conservation group aside from the wildlife that flies through the air wildlife on the ground may also affect by the noise pollution generated from the wheeling blades that means that uh, noise will be created by the wheeling blades also and that birds are flying at the height and if they uh, strike on the blades they will get die so that's why that's are dangerous for the some wildlife then it create noise that also i have explained third disadvantage is that expensive and front cost that means what for installation initially installation we have to pay more amount for the wind mill and that's why that is the expensive for the upfront cost fourth disadvantage is that unreliable or unpredictable power that means what happen wind flows at different rates okay so if wind flowing at higher speed then we can produce the light more energy but if wind flows at lower speed then we cannot produce the maximum power of energy that means we can't predict the amount of energy we can predict within the day or within the time all of you understand that's why that is unreliable or unpredictable energy form all of you understand that means it totally depends on the the flow rate of the wind so if higher flow rate higher energy will generate if lower flow rate lower energy will generate so that's are some disadvantages of the 
wind energy so in the today's lecture we have seen what is the wind mill application of wind mills we have seen advantages of wind mill and disadvantages of wind so today we will stop here for the today's lecture next topic we will continue in the next lecture thank you friends